What's going on, Josh from Colossus Fitness, online fitness coach and personal trainer, and today I'm not gonna waste any of your time, I'm gonna teach you how to do the lying down dumbbell row. If you're looking for a fun and unique way to work your back relatively safely, this is gonna be your exercise. The reason I love this exercise is you're keeping your back in that nice static hold so there's no swing. Obviously with swinging and arching the back is a big problem when you're doing back movements, so this is good because you can be really strict. Now without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So first and foremost, you're gonna wanna set up your bench. As you can see, I have it about 40 degrees. I find that's the magic number for me. It really depends how lanky you are and how long your arms are, and that will kind of change how much uh, you can really stretch out. So the goal here is you're gonna position yourself. You're gonna see I'm gonna retract my scapula, so I'm pulling those shoulders back, getting myself postured. When I'm doing this, I'm protecting all the little vertebrae in my spine by condensing them. There's little bursa in between each spine, and when you have it padded and contracted backward like that, you're protecting your back. This is something you can use for any exercise, not just this one, so keep that one in your mind at all times. So next up, we're just gonna grab the dumbbells. Now there's three different ways to perform this exercise. As you can see here, I'm rowing with a neutral grip, bring my elbows nice and high. And what that's gonna do is really help me to work my rhomboids as well as my inner trap. It's just gonna work that back thickness. Now you can see here, I'm doing with the underhand supinated grip, and I'm really gonna be targeting my lower lats here. So you can really manipulate this exercise to work it how you want to. And then last but not least, you can see I'm doing it with a pronated grip, nice and forward, and I'm doing this to get a little more rear delt, a little more upper back, upper trap, and that's how you can kind of manipulate this exercise to work different parts of the muscle. So a couple things you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind when doing this exercise, you can see I'm extending with slow contraction on, or slow eccentric movement on that way down. As you can see, I'm lengthening my back nice and tight. Now on the way up, I'm coming up as high as I can, squeezing more towards my stomach than anything else. If you're squeezing towards your chest, you might end up working the bicep, that is a common mistake I see quite often. So you want to pull it all the way in, nice and far back, stretch it out, keep that control, and really focus on tempo here. I like a slower tempo. Your goal here isn't to use the heaviest what you can like you would with a barbell row. Just work on good contraction and good control, and that is how you're going to get the most out of this exercise. Now let's move into three common mistakes I see people making. Oh, I didn't see you guys there. Make sure to click that first link in the description for a full form guide teaching you all of these exercises and how to do them properly. It's free and you don't wanna miss out. So common mistake number one, I see so many people stopping short of actual full extension. Because this is a controlled state, you have the bench stopping you. When you're doing a barbell row and you're extending all the way down, typically your shoulders will roll forward and you put your lower back in a vulnerable position. But here you can actually really focus. The best cue I have for you guys is extend all the way down and try to reach your arms or your fists, sorry, right to the ground and you'll get full extension and the most out of this exercise. And number two common mistake I see a lot of people doing is using way too much weight for this exercise. If you wanna go really heavy, do a Yates row, do a barbell row, a pen lay row, whatever it is, but save this exercise for the very end of your workout. Focus, focus on the isolation and the contraction and you'll see some crazy results with it. So this one is all about mind-muscle connection. I could do this exercise all day and not feel anything in my back or not see any back gain. So really focus on squeezing the top for a second or two, focus on what feels best for you. Aim to drive those elbows all the way up towards the ceiling and you'll see the best results possible. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoy this content. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. See you in the next video. Peace out.